The following is a video to show you the connection that I'm using through my MIDI controller, which is in this case Nectar um, Impact LX88. That MIDI controller is connected to my uh, iPad using a plug key from Korg. So it's coming up and running into there. And I'm using AEUM to distribute the MIDI and selecting the apps, the sounds part, picking which one it is. And with this one here, I can adjust the volumes of each of those apps. But here I want to concentrate on the interaction of the keyboard with the Beat Buddy. Now to get the Beat Buddy to connect uh, through my iPad, in this case, because I'm using a plug key, uh, it has a MIDI 2 keyboard, but not MIDI O as such, I use a PUC or a Puck Plus, and the Puck is showing above the uh, uh, Beat Buddy right now, uh, so that if I select here, it uh, taps from here and it actually initiates a CC command, which controls the uh, Beat Buddy, and I'll demonstrate that in a second. So you're gonna see the Beat Buddies uh, responding to this, which is the intro fill. And you note all of the MIDI commands make the puck, you'll see the blinking going on, showing that data is coming from the here uh, through uh, the AUM, but on the beat buddy is connected through Bluetooth to the puck to here. So using the keyboard, I can now control volume here. I can control the tempo here and here. Those are uh, the most significant bit, at least significant bit, so that's a full variable on that. This is a drum kit. And these three here actually select which song is going to be used in the uh, uh, beats that are chosen. And these pads here are, this is going to be the intro. It's actually, uh, in this case, I've used the, not specifically the intro, it's the transition. If you set up a transition, you can actually create, that's going to be the starting point. This is the outro. I'm using these as page turners for the music that I'm, if I'm following music on it, for example. Um, this will uh, initiate a page down or page up initiation with Songbook Chord Pro where it scrolls up and scrolls down and or turns pages left and right. These are the tempos for, it's going to change the tempo by, I think it's one lower, one higher, depending on which one it hit. This one here is going to be fill and this one here is going to be the tempo based on what I tap it. So just to demonstrate that, here we're going to start with a the intro. Love the jazz here, but I wanted to be able to turn it up a bit. I'd like to pick up the tempo here a bit. If I want a full range of the tempo, you can use this is the most significant bit, this is the least significant bit, and I'll show you what the numbers are in a second, but this will actually dial up the tempo for a more, minimum of 40 to the 114. If I want to go above that, I pick up the most significant bit, and 127 plus whatever is here on this one here, so it's 140 plus 10, 127 rather, plus 10, so it's 138 in this case. And you can drive the tempos up. I can change the volume minimize the volume so you can't hear a thing or you can drag it right up as full volume. This feature here allows me to pick which beat I'm using and I really like that option because I made a list of all my songs, uh, my baits, banks that they're in. For example, uh, the uh, ballad beats uh, are in uh, number three, I think it is here. So if I dial up uh, number three, and then I pick 
King Song, there's ballad number one, and it moves up through. Those are actually not numbered as, uh, they're numbered based on where that file sits within that subdirectory. So if I wanted to go it up to, for example, uh, Oldies, which is number 30, I can dial up uh, number 30 there. And this will go to the Oldies. Nice feature because that allows me then Now I can pick which drum kit I want to use. Instead of the default that it picks up on it, I can identify which drum kit that I want to be able to pick up. And there you have it. Thank you for watching.